to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join our various gaming groups as we play the 5th Edition of Dungeons & Dragons. And maybe just hang out and chat about gaming in general. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. As our hobgoblins Obelisk. like, come on guys, let's let's not let this happen. We all know it's about to happen. It's going to suck for everybody. We just want to go home. We just, just want to yeah, go home. Um, Let us go home. Yeah. Is that's my strength because, you know, I'm like the uh, the freaking high IQ person with, like, not real good personal skills. You're, hmm. you're the, you're the <laughs> war band leader with a low charisma. Yes, yes, I am. And that's your leadership style. Hey, but it's better than theirs. And it's but not it the, wasn't uh, a natural print. one, at least. <laughs> It's like, it, it was not the crit, so. So, so you kind of, you know, it comes across as a hobgoblin to a hobgoblin when you kind of give him the dude, just bro, just let me go home, you know, don't ha- you know, don't don't give me that cop hassle at two in the morning after the closing time, you know, as as a hobgoblin, your 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 presentation of this is perfectly acceptable of dude, just you know, buzz off, let us go. To to a non hobgoblin, it was a bit confrontational yeah. and brisk. Yeah, well. Well, you know. Just the facts, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you realize, like a half second after you say it, that uh, it's it's going to be the hard way. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Gotta gotta butcher some uh, squishy elves. All right. Uh. Well, they're more sturdy because they're half elves. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> Curses. And, and I just realized they disappeared off the initiative tracker. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was noticing they, that. they, when I stood up, they lost their face and 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 uh, like, okay, forgot cool. the faces so... of their fathers and ran. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just manually slot that shit in there. Okay, so uh, the druid kind of looks at you, especially since you, like, stood up, because, of course, you know, you're hobgoblin. You don't, like, beg or plead. You stand up like a hobgoblin face-to-face and, you know, bear your weapons openly, because that's what people do. Yep. Yep. Like I said, stated the facts. It wasn't begging. It was just, like, here's the facts, ma'am. Okay, so immediately a bunch of stuff happens all at once. The first thing that happens is the druid starts to rub his folk eye on his hip, and he looks up at this little tree here where there was a small little sparrow. As he starts to, to whisper the words of magic, and he begins to cast a spell, and the bird looks at him, and he looks at the bird, and he like, like he's a Disney princess at the bird, and the bird goes, <laughs> and immediately starts fluttering off away from him in a straight line. Oh no! And he uh, looks back at you guys, and then he kind of like gestures at the wolf towards you guys, and then the wolf runs right up to Mule here, and is going to attempt to grab not the wolf's, I mean not the mule's throat but the bridle and yeah. the harness. The wolf is going to attempt to grapple the mule, which will be interesting to see how it ha- how this works out. Right. <laughs> so uh, first we're going to be getting the... Uh... Let's 
strength roll for the the athletics roll for the wolf, which is a <laughs> solid five. Nice. And now we're gonna get Mule, who totally is gonna be needing a name eventually, if yeah, if Mule of, survives. If he survives this. It's been a Here, lot of and, like zeros and ones. Yeah. Mule <laughs> thankfully does have sure footage, which means strength and dex gets advantage because you know fucking Mule. Yeah. 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 So uh, this roll is going to be, it's obviously going to be athletics for the mule, not dex. So uh, a solid 13 both ways. As the wolf kind of like snaps at the bridle and kind of pulls the mule to keep it from running. And the mule just like locks its legs and is just like, fuck you. (laughs) It totally gives the mule look at the wolf like, fuck you. And just like shakes its head. No. (laughs) I mean, it, it's been around boar for a bit, so it's like, ah, I right. afraid no wolves. And remember, it almost had its throat ripped out by a wolf, you know, not a couple, yeah. not but a couple weeks ago. I mean, and this party saved him because they healed him. They so. did. There was magical healing going on. Unfortunately, that goblin's no longer with us. <laughs> She's here in spirit. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna bring us to top of the order. Who's going first? Me. Okay, so what is Nazzy that... gonna do? Um, Nazzy is going to, um, oh, sorry, too many things happened in my brain at once. <laughs> um, because I could just talk to the druid or turn into a wolf and try to talk to them that way, but I think I'm just gonna stay Nazzy and uh, in druidic. Talk to the this person here, I think, right? And just tell them the story. Well, you have a feeling that talking may have talking's done. You know, talking's you, yeah, done. We've all three tried. Y'all persuading. were talking, and he wasn't buying what you were selling. Yeah, we've hmm. already we've each tried persuasion. They didn't want to listen, so yeah, we're we're sadly past that. Fine. Okay. Um, just remember, a 10 with a bow can hit the side of a barn, and you all <laughs> rolled single digits. Yeah, part of me is just kind of like, I don't want to kill other druids. It could just be this guy's, you know, he's looking for a fight. That could be why your rolls were so bad, because he's just, he's sporting for a fight. Somebody okay. killed half a dozen yeah. woodcutters, and he's looking for blood. That okay, could be a so thing. I think could I'm be reading. Could be um, you can I'm be reading unkept right woods. Now. There's Combat. nothing worse than eco terrorist druids, right? These cool. Are pretty okay. messy woods. <clears throat> so I can totally shape shift into a wild shape as a bonus action. Mm-hmm. So, yay! <laughs> um, so, oh man, sorry, it's too many options right now. Um, <laughs> Druids do have a bunch. Yeah. yeah, it's new to me. This is fun. Um, I don't know why I want to talk myself out of this because why would I? And you have um, the character for a wolf druid shape unlocked for you to play with if you want to see what their stats yeah. are. Yes, please. It's on the character well, I sheets mean, there. I mean, they are elves and all, so I mean, well, they are kind elves. of. Half elves. They're, they are technically enemies of the goblin. Oh yeah. Raids. I mean, you guys basically you like to cut off their ears and they like to cut off your ears. It's some weird yeah. ear shit going on there. I mean, <laughs> we t- we tried some, you know, preservation um, on both parts and we things. tried to be nice. Yeah. We did try to be nice. I'm still I'm working on it. Hold on. Uh, can I throw? A uh, control flame. How big is it? Hold on. 60 feet. How big are you? It's basically it's just a small feet. fire. Okay. Making sure. <laughs> As she burns uh, the woods down. Right. Uh, so I'd like to throw my little cantrip over at the wolf that is disturbing our mule. As so an action. You're going to try to set the wolf attacking the mule on fire. Interesting. No, no, like no, 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 no. Warning, like across its bow kind of thing, like on the side yeah. to get it to fuck off. Across its snout. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so you're trying not to hit it? Because remember, yeah, not this it. this isn't like Firebolt like our wizard has where you shoot a beam right. of fire. No. It's no. you kind of snap your fingers and a light, a flame lights up. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was reading too quickly. Mm. Okay, so then I want to sh- shoot something at it to make it fuck off. So that might be like an arrow at this point. You do have magic rock. I do have magic rock, but it's a spell. <laughs> uh, well, it won't matter in a minute. Uh, so yeah, magic stone. It is a cantrip. Never mind. I'm gonna use that. Okay. And I'm just gonna. Really, in your pocket, you have a couple stones because you always pick mm-hmm. up rocks because that's yeah. what druids do. Yeah, it says you touch one to three pebbles and imbue it with magic. Uh, you or someone else can make a ranged spell attack. I can give it to people yeah, with one of the can... pebbles by throwing it or hurling it uh, with a sling. If thrown, a pebble has a range of 60 feet. If someone else attacks with a pebble, that attacker adds your spell casting ability modifier. Not the attacker's. Uh, to the attack roll. On a hit, the target... Okay, who cares? So, sorry for that part, because I don't want to hit him. So you're trying not to hit him. I'm, I just... So, if I have pebbles in my thing, I just want to throw something at him to get the wolf to back off. Okay. And then, after that, I want to turn into a wolf and protect my mule. Because... <laughs> because... Because my personality says that I watch over my friends as if they were litter of a newborn pup. So they're my, my people now. Okay. And advantage, right? So you're throwing the, the, the you, that will give you a inspiration that you can use later for advantage. Yep. Yay. For another time. Yep. Yay. So uh, you, you throw the pebble. You're intentionally trying not to hit him, right? Yeah. Just so a warning So I, I won't shot. even ask for an attack roll since you're not trying to hit him. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're, you're mag- you cast the magic pebble. Mm-hmm. And if it zings out like you basically shot it from a sling, it basically makes the pebble shoot out magically fast and far. And it kind of does that whole bullet into the ground where you get the patrine. Yay! Pat-train. Okay. As the uh, druid definitely gives you the stink eye in dog form. Mm hmm. And then you shape shift into a wolf yourself. I. If he doesn't back off, I'm, well, yeah, I'm going to shapeshift into a druid and then basically, like, growl to in front of the mule and be like, go away. No, don't stop that. Okay, so I'll put a little dot on your characters so you sh- you know you shapeshift. Mm-hmm. Flip. Actually, is there an animal-looking token? No, there isn't. <laughs> like, it'd be totally cool if there's some, like, wolf head or something. There you go, the snail. That is your shape shift symbol. <laughs> so so immediately you warg out into wolf form and you're just like, Arr. so yeah, are you? He attacked my peoples. And uh, how does Borf like like this? By the way, I'm totally gonna ask our ranger that. He probably is not too happy that like a uh, enemy pack trying to fuck with us. So my guess is he'd be growling at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but about the the wolf that just appeared next to him from this. Oh, shop. that? Yeah. I jumped down. Mm. I jumped down. I'm right Does here. she still smell like who she is? You oh, know yeah, what I mean? She totally still yeah. smells like. Then he should probably be okay. Okay. I mean, he re- realizes who the wolf is. It's just the, the fact that you see a, a goblin turn into a wolf for the first time, even for a dog that might be er, head tilt. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then the wolf kind of saunters off into a uh, position next to the horse, and poor mule is, poor mule is confused here. <laughs> mule may have to like face stomp some, uh, some, 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 some wolves. Well, we're probably a little confused too because we don't necessarily know that she's a druid. And like, whoa, wait, yeah, now she's a wolf too. Like, what the fuck? You're like, did we <laughs> we we run into a bunch of werewolves? <laughs> is that Halloween month already? And she's like part of them. She's playing a game. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> she tricked you, <laughs> right? So Nix, you you've seen uh, Nazi shapeshift into a wolf and jump down. What are you gonna do? Huh. Well, I mean, we're we're past the point of no return, aren't we? 
I mean, nobody's, uh, nobody's shed blood yet. I mean, uh, yeah, the wolf I like was how the, trying the to operative restrain. word is yet. The wolf was trying to restrain your mule, not actually rip its throat out, you know? Okay. It was it was clearly obvious that it was going for the bridle and not flesh. Oh, I I no, more... scared. No. And remember, Fells. y'all are evil, so I, I love know you're that anxious. Is... You're a bunch of evil goblins, and you're anguishing over your actions. I love it. Uh, no, it's not. I, I okay. I'm not anguishing about killing them. I'm anguishing about them. We just barely got through a situation by the skin of our yeah. teeth. <laughs> I I just want to go home. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a preservation thing of like just trying to get out, not that really care um, about killing them. It's like you just been through shit, so You know what? Cuz I am very chaotic. Um guess what? Um the one that's hu- hu- well the closest one to me is about to get uh infestation. Okay, is that going to be the wolf or the half-elf? You know what? He's been a pain in the... He's being really snotty about things. He's like, he's a tried. little hottie, I mean... He's the leader. So, yeah, let's... He's, you know, I'm going to take him a couple steps down for him having some fleas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what what do I have to do for that? All right, I... Shit, how do I do this? Okay, da da. Uh, you must succeed on a constitution saving roll, or you take 1d6 poison t- damage and move five feet in a random direction. And says, my hair is itching just hearing the infestation spell go off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he rolls really well, by the way. Apparently, he has damn had it. fleas before. God damn it. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Dog. He he apparently has had tick fever before and he's not impressed. As you Damn cast it. your little spell of magically summoning, you know, parasites Please. on him, and he he's just kind of like brushes it off nonchalant, like, oh, it's on now, it's on. Oh, oh. No, I can't do anything else at this point because I just spent for my your spell. Movement or bonus action? Remember, you're a um, goblin. You've got bonus actions. I could hide. I would like to hide. Okay, you are in the back of the wagon if you want to attempt to hide. I would. Like so I, I just roll there. straight up stealth? Yep. <laughs> There's okay. enough of a lip in the wagon to hide behind, so... As you get up and you make your evil hand gesture for fleas, and then you dive back behind, which is yeah. sad that you notice what the component for your spell is, right? It's a little flea. A living flea. I don't care. So that it's means a flea. you have I to can... have a flea to cast the fleas. And... Well, you know, I I have four. Four probably has got some fleas. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I like how the you're saying four got with. them and not you. <laughs> and you kind of dip down behind the railing in the wagon, and you seem to be disappeared into the pile of wood. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. You even got freshly cut wood in the back of your wagon. Oh no. <laughs> Well, no, I think we, at this point, because it's been a while, we would have probably gotten rid of any wood from the original owners of this thing. Yeah, we just... It was a wagon. No, it's, it's a good solid amount of wood cuttings for the village. Yeah, because we had kind of hidden the other stuff, stuff underneath in, it. Yeah. Uh, and it's not like yeah. you had that many campfires. Yeah. In fact, yeah. I think you specifically avoided campfires. <laughs> Okay, so so you disappear from everyone's view, by the way. I mean, it seems like everyone loses track of you, including Tarkin, who is up next. Yeah, so he's going to, like, come down and do a swoop down on this one and then fly over to this tree. So he's bugging the wolf? Yeah. Nip, nip, nips down and takes a t- couple stray hairs off the wolf? Yeah. Okay, and then what do you do? <sighs> well, as your glaive try... is sitting right there in the front seat with you. Oh no! When I stood up, I had it in hand, so I see. I'm it up picturing you've got like a hole already in the driver's seat where you stick it in, so it's sticking up like a flagpole. Yeah, it's right there. So I mean, it's it's in hand, but. Um, 
No, we're we're not going to do that. We're going to kind of surprise them because they're probably not going to expect magic from me. Because, you know, I do look fighterish. Mm-hmm. You know, glaive and all. You appear very martial with your armor and all. Yeah, yeah. So, so we are going to... Which which do I want to really fuck with them with? Um, Tarkin's looking at him like, you're screwed, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hell, you know, I think I will do that. So where are we at? Here we go. Come back here. And to the elf, we are going to do that. Magic missile. And uh, I'm assuming you're going to be shooting all of the magic missile darts, all three of them into him? Is it three? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you basically want to roll two more times. Yeah, I forget that. Let me uh. Do, 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 do. So the first one, I hit him for four points of damage. Yeah, which is pretty solid there. That that annoys uh, the hell out of him. And then three. And then plus three. Ooh. Ooh, and then the insult shot is the last one for five. Nice. And uh, that's magically 12 points of damage. Literally magically. Okay, as you do your thing and those three magic missiles form over your head and fly right into him and just do, 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 do. And he kind of like looks at you like, what the hell is he's got three magic blast marks into his chest? And uh, he, he does look hurt, but not like, you know, cripplingly hurt. Okay. I just kind of give him the look like, sorry, man. You started right. this. We just wanted to go home. Yep. Oh, it's on now. Oh, no. And then he kind of looks at you and does this cool hand gesture that totally looks like something out of a Kung Fu movie. And when he flicks his hands out at you guys, all of a sudden you just you just hear this, this sound in the ground as you see like a little earthworm pop up out of the ground. And then all of a sudden all the little, little grass underfoot starts wiggling and writhing as as all of a sudden he casts oh no you guys can see that right yeah yep both times entangle (laughs) apparently there's a big big lag when he did it and uh, the grass in a nice beautiful 20 foot square we're talking like well, one of his people's in it, so hey. That's why he's aiming for that 20-foot square. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I'm in the cart, so that's on the ground, right? So. Yeah. But our wolfie's in it. Yep. As all of a sudden you see the your horse and the wolf kind of like move their feet as the grass just starts grappling and grabbing and even kind of grabs your wagon wheels too. Yep. Okay, so with entangle, we're gonna we're gonna need a uh, strength saving throw from Nazi, and I'll strength. roll one for Mule. Saving strength. And Mule okay. has advantage, by the way, because thanks to his big damn uh, sure-footed. Oh, his poor Mule was busy fending off the wolf and kind of like grass grapples his hooves and holds him down. And Mule just makes this muley sound. Oh, baby. Ah. All right, can you remind me what inspiration does again? So if you burn your inspiration and you roll a d20 for something, you get the best of two rolls. Oh, okay. So could I do that now? Are you wanting to burn your inspiration? Well, uh... Or can you use it as a re-roll, right, as well? Uh, no, it has to be used before you make the roll. Uh. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Um, yeah, I'm just a little nervous because entangled... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hmm. No, I'll I'll wait on it. 
No, I'll okay, just strength, right? Yep, it's going to be just strength. Strength saving throw. Okay. And here I was trying to look for a mule mule scream sound. And yeah. what I found was like a fail because there's people talking and crap. Yeah. It's like, just do the scream. I think that makes me a bad person. <laughs> Against your spell DC. Yeah, their DC's twelve down okay. the bottom. Got it. So nope, I didn't make it. As you do the same thing as well, and you just get you yep. you look at the poor mule, and the mule looks at you, and the the weeds just grab you and hold you in place. Right. I mean, obviously, if the uh, Wolf couldn't get the mule to stay still. The magic uh, druid was going to do his thing. Yeah. And he's going to first get away from the green box that he's making. And he's <laughs> going to head kind of behind the bush. He's he's only got partial cover, but uh, he, he's basically using the bush for some cover. Okay. I mean, unless somebody shoots more magic missiles, which always hit. Exactly. Yeah, which, at that point, doesn't matter. <laughs> he wasn't expecting to get shot with magic, but now he's he's getting a little cautious. He doesn't want to get shot again and possibly lose his concentration on a spell. And, and he looks at the, the wolf and yells and says, We must not let these monsters leave our woods! And of course, at that point, that kind of hurts being called a monster. <laughs> and the wolf... He's going to safely trot over here because he's trotting, trotting, trotting. <laughs> and he's going to bite Nazi. So, Nazi, as a wolf, what is your AC? As a wolf, I'm looking. Uh, 13. Will a 14 hit you? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you no, but that's not the truth. <laughs> Okay, so the wolf's going to bite you for four points of damage. Now, remember, currently you have magical druid shape, which basically means you have the wolf's hit points. And okay. if you drop to zero, you basically lose the wolf form and shapeshift back to yourself at, at, at whatever hit points you had when you shapeshifted. Okay, cool. Which is why druids make really good tanks, because you can add magical yeah. hit points. Yeah. So you have 11 hit points as a wolf, and he just nailed you for five. Okay, so six. Yep. So cool. he's going to do his wolfy thing, which you kind of see on your character sheet you have as well, that yep. uh, he's going to try to knock you prone. I mean, it doesn't really matter much because you're already immobilized, but he's going to try to knock you prone nonetheless. Okay. Give me a strength saving throw. On my actual character sheet? On your, uh, It's going to be on the wolf's character sheet because your strength is <laughs> different as a wolf. Okay, sorry. It just it's weird. Strength. Here we go. Ooh, as he just grabs your scruff and just knocks you prone. By the way, the little fish net is your immobilized, and the guy with the arrows in his back on his knees is the knocked prone. Okay. As he just like pulls you down with this very, very satisfying snurf sound where he just does that whole <sighs> after he pulls you down to the ground. And he just, like, looks down at you like, stay. But am I still entangled? Cause he you are still entangled, yes. Fine. Yes, you're immobilized and knocked on the ground. Aww. It's very embarrassing. Aww. Okay, so, Nazi, immobilized, prone. Now, remember, you can still fight prone. You just don't want to be attacked prone because that's giving them advantage against you. Okay. Um, I'm new to this. So if I get out of wolf form, am I still able to attack, or is that my movement? Or I mean, action. Uh, shifting out of wolf form is a bonus action. It is a bonus action. Yep. Okay. So technically, you will still be entangled and prone. Okay. To get up from prone, it costs half of your movement. So... You can't move anyway, so you might as well spend yeah. half of your movement to at least get unprone. You know, at least get yeah. to your feet. Okay. 
So you have a whole bunch of options of what to do. Or yeah. you could, as a wolf, just flat out bite it back. I want to bite. I want to see what Wolfie does. Okay. So as you're on the ground and it pulled you down and it could looked at you and just did the whole... <laughs> Like, like you ain't nothing. You're going to go ahead and bite him back. So in your wolf character sheet, yeah. do you have that open? Yep. So go ahead and click the word bite. Oh. Bite, 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 bite. Bite, 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 bite. Okay, bite. Holy shirt. <laughs> As you roll a wow. natural 20. What? Obviously, you are in a mood to break his freaking leg for that. You 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 don't put up with that shit. Nope. So immediately, you snap out from your prone position with your poor paws stuck in their place, and, and the poor wolf, you hear this snapping sound of its leg. Like that snappy. That, like <laughs> super snappy. Snap, As, crackle, pop. As immediately, uh, you you know you did enough damage that you knocked him out of wolf form and did some extra damage. I knocked him out of wolf form? So you, you basically killed the wolf form. Now it's back to... Woo! Okay, sorry. Just a tiny little happiness. That's Pretty okay. Impressive. As you basically, you know, murdered his wolf form and did damage to him personally. As you realize that uh, this is actually a very, very strong looking human female. Once ah. the wolf form kind of sheds off and she's grabbing her arm like, ow. As you're seeing like, you know, residual extra damage, which means, you know, you, you basically did enough to kill a wolf and then some. So the yeah. extra damage kind of rolled over to the druid's arm. Nice. And she's kind of like looking at you like, damn. <laughs> and you still have your movement and bonus action. Jesus. Okay. Um, I would like to get out of prone. Oh, and uh, I'm assuming you'd like to do the uh, knockdown part, right? Knockdown. Explain what? Look in, look in the bite power. Bite power. Looking. Knockdown. Where am I looking? Knocked down prone. Oh, right there. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Of 11. <laughs> yeah, I would like to do knock down. Okay, so as, as you know, she is shape shifting in your mouth and the wolf is yiping. She rolls a 10 for her saving throw, so you basically knock her down prone. Huh, she's with me. <laughs> as you basically snapped and pulled and shook like a dog, as yeah. as she gets knocked down on her ass too. Mm. Nice. So can I get out of prone and still have her be prone? Uh, yeah. You, you basically it's your turn to do movement and bonus action, so you can totally see, as your as your wolf stuck in spot, you can like push yourself up so you're at least upright. Uh huh. Okay, so you okay. spend half your movement getting upright. Okay. Um, and then I have to do a strength again, right? Uh, nope, nope. Uh, that's an action. So since you bit her, you can't uh, do your second action. No, no. I mean for the entangled, where I have to, or am I just stuck it, now? Uh, it'd be an action to get out of the structure to make. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, you're basically once you're stuck, you have to actually use a turn to do a strength pull to pull yourself off of the grass. Which is why Entangle is so badass. And why I actually have it as a thing. So, uh, yeah. then I don't think I can use a bonus action anymore. Because I don't want to get out of this wolf form right now. Okay, so you want to stay in wolf form? Yeah. Okay, so, yep, uh, since you, you can't do and any growl. of your other bonus actions at the moment because you're immobilized. Yeah, okay, I'm going to so growl at her, though, as a thing, so... You're giving her the 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 dog yeah. shit talk that she was giving you a second ago. Uh huh. Yeah. I love all this she wolf on she wolf violence. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only the right person did the most damage. Just saying. <laughs> so what is Nick's gonna do? You hear dog fight happening over on the side. The mule is not what? happy with that crap going on. I'm gonna do what I am. What what basically what I usually do, which is. Pop out, shoot, go up, then hide. Okay. 
So I will say from where you are in your hiding spot, you can't see the other wolf. You can only see the druid that's partially behind cover. Okay. So I can't see that person? You can't really see that person because they're, they're Even both... Even if I in, pop out? Uh, if you move, you totally can. But from where you're sitting with the hobgoblin and the and the mule in the way, you can't quite see that wolf. So if I move over here, mm -hmm. can I see? You can then see, yep. Okay. Because I, I can move, do my action, and then do the bonus action to hide again, correct? You can totally do that. Okay, so and I move? And you can also move back if you want. Because remember, okay. if you still have movement, you can still use it. Okay, well, I just did that. Okay. And then... Now, remember, the wolf is knee knocked prone, so it will be a disadvantage shot. Okay. Oh, I don't get advantage from coming out of hiding? Okay. Uh, actually, you do. And so basically it's going to neutralize to a straight roll because okay. you have disadvantage for shooting a prone target. Okay. And you have advantage from popping out of hiding. So it basically becomes just a straight roll. Okay. A 14, a 14 will hit a wolf, but let's see if it'll hit a druid. A 14 will definitely hit a druid who has not had a chance to put her bark skin on. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. For five points. And then um, move back and hide. <laughs> or attempt to at least. Attempt I'm going to try. As a dirty wow. 20 makes you blend in back there quite well. Apparently, Geldrin just magically has arrows shoot out of his shoulders. You know, that's, that's what people <laughs> think. <laughs> right? I'm that good. I'm, I'm a powerful wizard. Okay, so what does Tarkin do? Tarkin's going to go, since that one's already prone, going to go Raz through here and back over here. Okay. Go flutter by the the druid hiding behind the bush. Yeah, picking at whatever feathers and shit in the hair. Problem is the poor guy's using his concentration spell. He's being very cautious at this point. Yeah. Well, that's going to come to an end here in a minute. Okay. <laughs> so what does Geldrin do? Ah, uh, Gedrin, he's not happy. So we're going to do that number. Ooh. Dang. Okay, what spell is that? Because it's not, oh, there we go, Mind Spike. Yep, yeah. All righty. And uh, you can see him, so uh, striking him is yep. not a problem. Uh, Ooh, that's that's going to suck. Yeah, I figured so as much. So you would like a save. I would. You would totally like a wisdom saving throw. The druid feels very comfortable doing that. Sure. But as he rolls a 13. Which is meat, so still half damage. So he managed, he looks at you and you give him the stink eye psychic Professor Xavier look. Right. Or is it maybe the rock smolder? <laughs> <laughs> or is it the blue steel from that one comedy? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so he's taking uh, six points or five points? Five points. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess. Is it rounded up or didn't say? Yeah. Rounding, round it down is usually what I go for, so that way you guys take okay. less damage. So he takes a little, he has a little bloody nose, a, just, a, just a dribble of bloody nose that comes down his nose as he realizes, and he just looks like, get out of my head. <laughs> as I just kind of grin at him. But of course, the important thing is the uh, reason you did that. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like there's a reason why you did that. Yeah. <laughs> there is, yeah. Ooh. I think that makes it right. I forget what that's just a ten up right for concentration. I forget what Concentration is. 
Yeah. So for the concentration save, the DC is equal to 10 or half the damage, whichever is higher. Okay. Well, hold on. All right. That's all right. Yeah, it's equal to 10 or half the damage you take, whichever is higher. Yeah. As he just kind of like barely, barely keeps concentration on his grass spell. The grass is always greener when you're a druid. (laughs) Anything for your movement or bonus action? Uh, Or remember who you are. I am. Don't hobgoblins have a thing? Oh, no, that's uh, uh, the hobgoblin one. Is The saving face is for attack rolls. Yeah, it didn't do anything for the attack rolls, so. So now I'm saving my action for the other stuff, so. Okay. So it is the druid's turn. See, I was, totally referring, they... I was totally referring to your divine rolls that you made earlier, by the way. Right, but I can replace those at any time, so. Well, I just thought oh, you yeah, could have replaced his save with a 10 and he would have failed and had to roll 11 or higher, which he did anyway. Or yeah. you could have burned both of them, made him fail his save, then he rolled a 10, not an 11, and took full damage or failed his True. concentration check. True. But you probably don't want to, you know, foresee all these things and burn them all at the beginning. No, no. Okay, so. Prone druid down on the ground. She's she's not happy right now. She's got an arrow sticking out of her too. And a broken arm. <laughs> yeah. Uh she's gonna she's gonna cast a spell and swing her stick at oh, our at Nazi. No. Hello. Oh Shillelagh goodness. Lily action. Yep, she's going to swing that shillelagh while she's on her knees. <laughs> Damn! Oh, no! And she bashes you with a 23. Jesus! What a cat fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's totally sad she rolled a total of three damage, though. <laughs> Okay, so three points of magical damage on top of what you've already taken. Uh, okay, so that would be... I'm at three points now? Mm-hmm. Okay. And if you look in your character sheet, you can burn spell slots to magically heal yourself in animal form. I can. You can. You may want to look at that before your turn comes up. By the way, your turn's up. so this druid is going to make a squeaky sound apparently as he moves further away coward and what a coward oh but he's the no he's not outside of spell range for his thing He's just making sure to make it difficult for you to shoot him with anything that's, you know, like, not like any of the spells that you've used. (laughs) (laughs) Because he only has, you know, one other spell in its melee, and he's not getting that close to y'all right now. Okay, and he is totally thinking, you know what, he can totally concentrate and shapeshift. He is going to shapeshift into a wolf. Hmm. As he's totally in wolf form. It's nice to get more hit points back. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's 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 burning a lot of his shape shiftiness. Okay, so Nazzy, what are you gonna do? Uh, bite. Chick just hits you with a stick. Yeah, bite. Nom nom. Nom nom. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Nom 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 okay. nom. And she is prone, so you do have advantage. Woohoo! So I get to do it again? or no, it, it means you get the better of two rolls. Okay, cool. So well. roll your bite, and you get the better of the two numbers. 
I thought I did roll. What's happening? You rolled. Oh, you did roll. Okay. It took a second for it to tell me that you rolled. Oh, okay. And uh, since she is still yet to put bark skin on, that will hit. Awesome. For seven points of damage. Yay. As you're a bad dog. As you <laughs> bite her, and she's already prone, so we won't bother with her saving throw, but she is now definitely looking tore up. I mean, you are yeah. ripping her arm to bits that your your teeth have dug into it. She hit me. Um, nom nom. Okay. <laughs> Anything for your bonus action? Um, uh, I, no, I'm going to stay a wolf for now. Okay. Or, like, I don't know the whole, it's an action to heal, so, yeah, I don't want to change out of this wolf. Okay. So, Nyx, what are you going to do as you're hiding back there and you're hearing all these growlings and snarlings and barking sounds? And I basically, you know, second verse, same as the first. Um... <laughs> So, um, kind of do the whole move out of hiding, shoot, or, I mean, where I am, I could still get her, right? Uh, she's in human form, but she is here. prone. So she's basically on one knee, you know, smacking with her stick of the dog. Okay, but remember though, because I'm coming out of hiding, you have like, advantage. So it's basically yeah. straight. So roll. it cancels each other's out. So, yep. all right. Plus, you have somebody. Oh, yeah, Jason, right? So. Oh. So. So nineteen. Pretty respectable. Pretty so. respectable, my ass. <laughs> As you stick an arrow in her and she makes this horrible blood curdling cry that makes you think that she is almost down for the count. Okay. Almost. The threads of life are very thin and frayed for her right now. She might be thinking about running away real soon if she gets the option. Since I'm hiding, do I get advantage? Because the whole, you know, what I am. Uh, you don't get advantage. Damn it. All right, well, and I'm not you, hiding anymore. You I guess. think that seven for stealth for your bonus action is really good, and you, you totally hiding. think you're there while you're basically getting kisses from Borf, and you're totally <laughs> not hiding. Borf has figured out where you're hiding. That's Borf it. is looking at you like, what are you doing? Like, what's Pat this me? game you're I playing? Need pets. I need pets. And That's what Borf. is Tarkin doing? <laughs> Ah, <sighs> what will Tarkin do? Um, I guess he'll like call down, call down from the tree where it's like this uh, druid is. No, oh, just kind of looking at this one. Kaka, kaka. Making a scene. The uh, raven Matt, talk Matt, shit. Okay, and what is Geldrin doing? <sighs> sitting in the front of the wagon, doing all these spells, slinging. Uh, sitting, standing. <laughs> well, let's see. Which route do I want to go now? <laughs> you know, I guess I can still see. Yeah, you can. St they basically this guy has cover, okay. But you can still see him. So if you you're okay. casting a spell that requires you to see, you're fine. But if it's one that requires an attack roll, you're going to be at disadvantage. Right, right. Yeah. And she's well, kneeling, just, so we're just doing that. Now I have an important question to ask yep. as you're rolling these magic missiles. Yeah. You cast magic missile, which makes four magical darts. I three, mean, sorry, right? three. Three darts. So where are you sending the first dart? Um, I'm still going after the leader, dude. Okay. On, on all of them. So you're hitting his wolf three times? Yep. Okay, so on the second dart... 
Okay, he is still in wolf form after the second dart. Okay. And uh, the, the exact number needed <laughs> to knock him out of wolf form as your third dart hits, and you just hear this, like, ripping, fleshy pop sound as he just, like, gets pulled out of the shapeshift form with the damage. Aww. Sorry. As his great escape was just fouled, because damn. <laughs> That Oopsie. was my. That was his did second I, shapeshift for the day. Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he lets out this this very very angry sound. Uh, that 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 definitely expresses his anger and frustration. Aww. And uh, the wolf. And the, the, the that was off in the distance that just just was watching you guys, kind of takes that as the hint to leave. Yeah. And then this gal, on her, I mean, she looks like if any one of your darts would have hit her, they would have taken her out. She's gonna use her bonus action to shape shift into a wolf, because it's good to have those extra hit points. And limp off. <laughs> and she is going to give Nazi an attack of opportunity if she would like it. <laughs> As she is running off at full speed, minus losing half because she's prone, in mm. wolf form. So she's basically okay. running off at 20 feet. Attack I want to use. Okay. So you get Oof. to snap at her as she runs off? Yeah. Go ahead and take that uh, take that bite. It's just a basic attack. It I I did it. It's just going. As you hit uh, for a dirty twenty, for eight points of piercing damage, not enough to drop her out of wolf form, but right. interestingly enough, she's going to have to make that strength saving throw to be knocked not be knocked prone. Because mm -hmm. if you knock her prone, that blows all of her movement. Yep. Damn. And she makes it, managing to pull her leg free of your biting grasp and finishes that 20 feet run away from you motion. So I'm just going to ask a question. Uh, I don't care what happens. So when she got out, when she became a normal person and then went back, she was still prone, and then she went back into being a wolf. She wasn't prone anymore? No, she was still prone. That's why she only got to go 20 feet instead of okay. the full 40 a wolf goes, because getting standing up costs half your movement. Okay. So she had to, she shape-shifted into wolf, had to get mm -hmm. up, shook herself as you bit her. She pulled herself free and still managed to run four squares away from you. Okay, okay, cool. Sadly, I think she's still definitely within someone's bow range. <laughs> Darn. And uh, this guy, now knocked out of his wolf form and realizing, shit, I don't have any more shapeshifts for the day, he's going to cast... Which one of these spells is he going to cast? I think he's going to have to go for this one. He's he's Yeah, he's going to go to cast this on himself. Aww. And as he casts that spell, Longstrider basically gives himself some extra movement. He's 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 debating more movement instead of more AC. And he's gonna start running. So that means he's got don't forty have the stomach feet for it. Like a wolf. Yeah. Hungry like a wolf. They just don't have the stomach for it. <laughs> as he starts running super fast through the woods taking advantage of all this tree cover so he hopefully doesn't get an arrow in the back. It's the elven side. They're weak. That's what causes them to run. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and uh, Nazi, what are you going to do while you're sitting there stuck? Do you want to finally try to see if you can pull yourself free? Uh, I'm going to ask a question to our fearless leader here. Um, so one of the things that I want to do is... Uh, use my bonus action, turn back into a goblin, and then <gasps> cast. Into... By the way, what? Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt, but <gasps> it's gone. Woo! 
When you shot him out of wolf form, I forgot to do his concentration. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, and <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so then I can use like my full movement now. Yep. Yep. But remember, you are knocked prone, so it'll cost half your movement to get up. And that's four squares. That that's basically instead of forty feet as a wolf, you can only go twenty feet as a wolf. Coincidentally, okay, so that, she ran twenty feet away from you. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little nicer. Uh, I had options now. Woohoo! So I originally, before that happened, uh, was gonna turn back into a goblin and then cast Entangled on this person. That's Tarkin. That's that's your wizard. Oh, sorry. Part. No, wait. Where's the other person then? Did the they other run away? Guys at the bottom of the map, far, far away, about way over here. Forty, fifty feet from you. Yep. This guy, way over here. Yep. I can cast Entangled that far away. Right? Can you see over the big horse, the mule that's in your way? Uh, if I were to walk here. Okay, I can accept that. But we're not going to do that yet. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. the guy sounds like when he's running away. That was a video that popped up on my phone for some reason because my phone is possessed by Satan. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh... Do we care if these people live or die or anything like that? Um, I, mean, if they go, I, I mean, if we kill them, they, we kill them. If they get away, I'm not too concerned. We'll start moving. You've been down shooting the road, them so. with arrows and biting them with fangs. That's right. all I'm so, gonna say. Yeah. yeah. So, but do you specifically want this guy to get away? Because it seems like he's running. I mean, he go whine. That they got their ass kicked by us. I mean, cool. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna stay my little wolfy self, and I'm gonna go om nom. No, too far. Om nom, on that guy. Okay, gonna go ahead and bite the druids. Give me yeah. a roll. She's already taken damage too. Okay. A twelve. That uh, will not hit a wolf. Yeah. As you snap, and it's like when you see dogs fight and they do that weird butt tuck that just yeah. gets your ass yeah. out of danger in the, the last <laughs> second. As she just looks at you and you smell piddle in the air. Aww. <laughs> so do you okay. have anything for your bonus section you'd like to do? Can I hide as a wolf? With Not out thing? in the open in front of her, no. Dang it, okay. Uh, as a bonus action. Okay, so the only bonus action I have is turning back into a person, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to turn back into a person yet. Okay. So, Nyx, what are you going to do? Talia? Um, thinking. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to go and do the thing that I've been doing, which is pop out, shoot, and <laughs> pop back in. Nice. So I'm going to shoot because that, that's the one that I've been hitting so far, correct? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So you're going to shoot that one so you have disadvantage because you're shooting oh. next to an engaged ally there. Which doesn't matter. <laughs> Which doesn't matter because it's neutralizing itself because you're coming out of hiding. And uh, 23. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing I no. extended the map there. <laughs> wow. What's with the plus three? I don't know. Piercing. Oh, ignore the plus three. Thanks for the natural 20. The, 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 the other roll. Okay, okay. so uh, immediately she is knocked out of wolf form. I'm not going to replace your token. We're just going to say boop. Knocked out of wolf form. <laughs> and nine points of damage. Wow. Okay, so she drops dead as the arrow Woo! hits her in wolf form. She shape shifts back to druid form running, and you see the arrow like sticking through her midsection as she falls to the ground. Yay! First it's no kill. fun when you shape shift and you keep the arrow in you. All right. And God damn it. And you go back to <laughs> kissing okay. your dog. 
Okay, so what does Tarkin do? Is this, this guy is running? He is he has got the long strider stride where he's running like the T one thousand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sad he thinks that's gonna benefit. Um, so Tarkin's gonna like look around and perceive just to make sure there's no others hiding around. Oh, that's, the area, that's I guess. a good option in case there's any stealthers out there. Yeah. Just because they're running doesn't mean they didn't send some others in. Mm-hmm. As all of a sudden this hail of 20 arrows comes flying out of the air. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and give me a perception check for him. All right. You're pretty sure with that solid 10 that there's no one hiding except for Nyx who's attempting to hide with her 5. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, so Geldron, what are you doing? This guy's running from you. He's like, I am not going to die today. There's no way they can kill me if I run away. Right, right, right. Maybe not. Ooh. Or maybe. Ooh. Too. So what's it look like when you summon your three magic missiles and they go shrieking through the trees? Because remember, magic missile always hits. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the two first two kind of hit mid-body, and then the last one, like, back of the head, kind of sending them head over heels. As, uh, by the way, ten points was exactly what he had left. Wow. So oh. the first one goes thwack, second one goes thwack, and the third one sprays blood against the trees. As he goes down. I mean, we tried to be good neighbors. <laughs> Gotta let us just go. They brought this upon themselves. They did. Okay. So, uh, do you guys, you know, what do you guys do next now that, you know, after your last magic missiles went zip? And then yep, squish. Yep. And then all of a sudden there's silence except for Borf licking Nyx profusely. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. And the poor dying druid with the arrow through her last dying breath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Check her body real quick. Okay. Uh, we're out of initiative, right? More or less, yeah. More or less. Uh... I want to uh, just trot up to this guy and, like, just happy vibes. To which guy? To your ho your mule? To mule, yeah. Just happy vibes. I good. No scare. Okay, and the mule's just like... <sighs> as, as long as you're willing to touch and adjust his bridle, he is, he is happy with that. Yeah. And then I'm going to go back into the back of the wagon as a wolfie and just hang out. <laughs> we should leave. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I go back in the wagon. And we will. So you're not checking move. the bodies? Well, I, know. I thought she was going to, but at least the oh, you one. Oh, thought I was going to? Okay, I thought you were you jawed out or something. I can still check the body, and after checking the body, go and do the other stuff, too. Yeah, I mean, just... you don't have to. You could totally leave them be, I mean. Ah, we're goblins. No, I'm checking the body. Okay, so uh, you check the two druids' corpses. You get a total of 20 copper, 40 silver, and 4 gold. Okay. Uh, there's the, as a fellow druid, you totally realize there's their, they've got their mistletoe, which is their focus for their druid spells. Okay. As well as between the two of them and their backpacks, you have basically an explorer's pack. Cool. Which basically just gives you some extra, extra stuff. Yeah. yeah. Always nice. Yep. All right. We'll throw that all in the back there. Just okay. Back. Literally, you just point back and say, look at our secret loot under the wood. 
Right. Okay. So, Nix, do me a favor and give me a survival roll for getting yourself the rest of the way there. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so you guys basically pull your wagon over to the citadel for your, that that is used as your warren. Basically, you all know you you're introducing to your newest member the citadel. Yeah. Basically, it was once a castle that a dragon sucked into the earth by magic and you know sunk the castle underground there's this big crack you have to climb down a a rope ladder to get to so you can get to the warren area and thankfully your previous leader benefactors cleared out the castle for you of uh wiping out all the kobolds that were infesting half of the castle while you guys had the other half bastards why? Because there was a mad druid that in the basement of your c- citadel has a magic vampire tree that basically makes poison or healing apples. Oh, Unfortunately, wow. your warlord does not give you poison or magic apples. Oh. He has a small business set up with selling slices of the healing apples. <laughs> <laughs> But there is an underground garden, basically, if the, the druid is interested in that kind of thing. Which, by the way, the ranger in the other group is totally having goblins capture animals and import them in there to, to have their own menagerie. Nice. So you do have access to a few other animals when you make that list of what animals you have for shape-shifting purposes. When Yay. you guys get back to the warren, everybody looks at you like, so did you find the slavers and wipe them all out? Pretty much. Partially. <laughs> you found their headquarters. Did you bring back any of the other slaves? Hi. Right there. Is there like Hello. one slave? Where's Where's Ragna? Oh. <sighs> Ragna, unfortunately, did not make it, but fought gallantly to As try to save everybody. Sadly, the only other bugbear in the Citadel is a male bugbear. And he Aww. looks sad oh, that no. Ragna is gone because she must have been his mate, right? Or at least sister, which Something. probably means it's almost the same thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bugbears be simple yes. people. <laughs> she, but she, as, she fought gallant, gallantry. As you know, they, 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 they realize that the warlord will, will, will be saddened by losing a strong fighter, but we, we gained a goblin! Is they kind of snicker, laugh, laugh, laugh. Yeah, like we don't have a hundred of those, but, you know, hey. No. <laughs> Feed them after midnight and they multiply. Right? <laughs> Freaking gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> As, you know, you guys get to, you know, unload your cart of anything you want to unload. You know, there's a debate of whether the mule should be executed and eaten or eaten <gasps> yeah. and executed. No, no, we need it for tasks. The uh, wizard will be asked to fill in partial bits of the map that the warlord has been working on in the sub-sub basement. Used to be the Mad okay. Druid's library. He's got books and maps. And the you, you know that your warlord's basically in archaeologist background, so he's like uh, wanting to fill in the map of the world so that you guys have access to decent maps and things. Well, sure, you got to have that to have domination. Got to have domination and fast travel. Okay, so you guys get a good night's sleep or a good day's sleep, as the case may be, in an underground bunker. Mm-hmm. You've you've dropped off anything that you want to drop off. Yeah, so we're I'm gonna give them the unless somebody wants the explorer pack. You're totally giving a new batch of goblins equipment to be able to go out and goblin themselves. I am. I'm good. Somebody, okay. That, the the money we just got, and then uh, the uh, other explorer pack, rapier, and leather armor. And, and that big oh. ass axe. And the axe. Three, three longbows, 20 arrows. I need those arrows. Oh, okay. You can have the arrows. Okay. Um, three other wood chopper axes. <laughs> and a bunch of firewood, which they totally needed. A partridge and a pear tree. And I'll keep for my own record stuff. There was we had the four leaf clover pressed inside of a book discussing <laughs> manners and etiquette. 
See, you totally should have used that on the on the druid. <laughs> you totally should have whipped out the book, flipped the four leaf clover over as the bookmark, and used the etiquette book to give you advantage on your roll for persuasion. Yeah. Oh yeah. my. It'd be like oh, yeah. you're a certain ninja out of Naruto reading a book while doing things. <laughs> so as do we have do we have like quarters of our own or maybe at least I do. As uh, a, th- there so. is enough room thanks to the kobolds being killed off that freed up enough that you guys would have your own chambers if you want. No, okay. I, now I'm going to 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 the nearby woods where the rest of my pack is. Okay. I'm gonna go. To the garden. That's that's in the down down below. As you realize that the mad druid that used to live down there, this creepy human hermit, who would feed people to this vampire tree, because it really is a vampire tree. Oh my. Yeah, I just want to explore. I don't. Ooh. He's got a bunch of different herbs growing in his gardens down below, and he had a bunch of tree bl- blights, but the group murdered all of those because nobody wants vampiric bushes walking around eating people. Yeah, mm. that, that's problematic. Not, no, yeah. Especially since the Mad Druid used to feed goblins and kobolds to him. Yes. Those were quickly killed off by your, your kin. <laughs> So the beauty of it is, is as you guys get rest and recuperation and you get to communicate with the other goblins and you introduce the new she-goblin to the group, everybody feels warm and excited. There's, you know, some animals get slaughtered and so everybody has good, fresh red meat to eat. And you guys feel this beautiful, warm glow inside you that when you <laughs> go to bed, you feel this glow surround you and you hear this ding sound effect that means you guys all level up yeah wow. and of course you are asked so you guys are going back to get the slavers right yes yeah, yeah. let's we need to replenish our our team as you know Supplies totally team, your yeah. druid friends like yeah i know that slaver place it's just north of the quarry where you found me when the the land turns to desert nice Because she's able to give you intelligence on it that, you know, the quarry is like the northern reaches of the forest and then it becomes like this tundra desert and then sand desert. And the slaver's headquarters is an old ruin just north of that desert. And it's almost like you guys might have a fast travel now of getting there quicker unless someone rolls really bad in survival and you get ambushed (laughs) by the (laughs) druid survivors knowing that these goblin bastards will be back someday. So, I have a question. Oh, okay. Uh, like kind of out of character question. Um, do you think I could ask Dale if he wants to join? Uh, I actually have two people that are supposed to be getting back to me. Let me okay. let me find out from them first. You know, okay. If if it's complete no go or what what the word is before you know letting somebody else know. Okay, if you yeah. have Somebody you want to talk to about it, I'd say go for it. But let him know that we're still waiting to hear back from from two well, folks still. He's on standby. Why don't you let me know if if I'll hold off on asking him because I don't want to get his hopes up. Because okay. I know that he misses playing and I don't want to be like, hey, do you want to join? Oh wait, you can't join. You know, I don't want to do that. Do you want to join? Oh, we were just kidding. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that, that does suck when that happens because I've had it happen yeah. to myself. So, uh, yeah, so if these two don't pan out, I'll ask Dale uh, if he wants to join us. All right, cool. Nice. Awesome. All right, well, I'm going to I'm gonna take off because the dogs want to go back out again. Oh, yeah. my so God. You, you guys have a good lemons. night. And, Jim, <laughs> we have game on Wednesday, right? Yes, this is D&D okay. week. Okay, cool. All so, right, good night, everybody. I love you night. all. All right, yep, have a good yep. night, guys. Bye. Yep. And that's definitely a good spot to wrap it up there. Yep. So, so since you're on, um, uh-huh. so I, I'm assuming I probably have a little research room because you know, being the mighty divination wizard of the clan or whatever. Um, <laughs> so there was a mosaic tile with a 
with a multicolor glazed surface, which we never really figured out what that was. I don't know if you remember that, but mm -hmm. I will put that in my quarters as well as the five art objects. The five uh, eating utensils that are very nice and artistic. Yeah, why not? I'm a wizard. Why would I not have you know some nice stuff? <laughs> In case you need to divine the future on a silver plate. Right, right. Never just know. Just in case. Never know. <laughs> Keeps the prediction pure and jet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there is a research library down below that uh, I'm pretty sure your warlord would not mind you going through. It's right, right. got lots of books. You know, one book was written by the black dragon that sunk this place and used it as his lair. Until he died of old age. Oh, yeah. See, I'd be all into that stuff. Got to research his, the future and the past. And... His body was never found. Ah. Such cool stuff from that. <laughs> and and little cliff notes from the druid on the, on the uh, things around the place. Nice. Sadly, the druid knew nothing about the slavers that you guys are going after. <laughs> If he would, he would have hired half orcs instead of uh, goblins. <laughs> yeah, they're sloppy. <laughs> All right, man. I'm Thank you to for listening to D and D Journey of the Fifth yeah, Edition, a right. member have of the night. Creative have Play and Podcast yeah, Network. Bye. Please follow us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash cppn to never miss a show or stream. Hello, this is Eric and Wendy Strzok with Stone Valley Hobby and Games. We sell board games, card games, role-playing games, and supplies. We have thousands of Magic the Gathering cards available, carry Kickstarter products, and work with veteran-owned small businesses to bring you our own line of products. We are a small business retailer, but we offer competitive prices, a loyalty system, and free shipping on orders over $100. As a military veteran myself, I'm a strong supporter of our armed forces, their families, and contractors out there doing the hard job. So any order from an AA, AE, or EP address will be shipped absolutely free. Remember, StoneValleyGames.com, where we take your leisure seriously.